When our database performance began to degrade due to large data set, there are several strategies to optimize it. One popular approach for optimizing a MySQL database is partitioning. In this video, we will explain MySQL partitioning and how to implement it in our database. Partitioning divides a large table into a smaller logical parts that are stored and maintained separately and making data retrieval faster. Partition does not change the logical structure of a database table. It remains a single table, but MySQL splits the underlying data into partition based on partition strategy. There are five main types of partitioning supported by MySQL. Range, List, Hash, Key, and Composite Partitioning. Range partitioning distributes rows based on a range of values. This is useful when our data naturally fits into range, like dates or numeric values. We have orders table, and it has almost 30 million data. Let's run this SQL to check the query details. We can see no partition is available here. If I just add analyze and run it again, it takes almost 27 seconds before partition. We gonna partition orders table based on created at column. Let's find the minimum date of created at column first. So we can create range partition from this value. Before partitioning, we need to drop the existing primary key and create a new one using the ID and created at column. Otherwise, it will give zero. Let's run this query to alter the orders table. It will take some time. It's done. This query will create partition from September 2021 to December 2024 and the greater value will be stored on the P latest partition as we mentioned here. So let's run it. It will take some time to finish. Our partition has been created and we can check the partition details from the information schema partitions table. Here is our order stable partitions. If we move to the right, then we can see all the partition details from here. This is total number of row in each partition. Let's go to the next page. These are for the future dates partitions so that now these values are zero. Let's run this query to check the details. Now these partitions have been used to execute this query and also this number of rows have been filtered. If we add analyze and run this query to check the execution time. Now it takes 12 seconds. Before partition it was 27 seconds. That means partitions reduce the execution time. We can optimize it more using indexing. We will discuss about this later on separate video. You can find detailed information about the other types of partitions by checking the video link in the description.